just doing what I gotta do every once in a while, and that's clean the clay. Let's build up on the top of this uh, sculpting stand. Let's clean it off. That's where this uh, drywall tool comes in very handy. I'm not going to get a chance to sculpt today because I've got some friends coming by and we're all going to dinner. So, but it's just, uh, I got the black background put up. Um, I'm happy with that. Just testing out my camera. See if it's going to work okay. I'm going to set up a couple of camera angles that uh, hopefully will facilitate a good view of the sculpture as I work on it. I try to get it at an angle that uh, I'm not working at the uh, thing with my hands in front of the camera, but it's hard not to do that occasionally. The background's a bit dirty. I'll get me another uh, black sheet at some point, and uh, I'll take care of that, or else I'll just get some black spray paint and hit those parts that need to be hit. All right. I have my tools all set up and uh, got my wire tools and my metal tools, uh, the, the most favorite of them all. Um, and uh, everything's set up and ready to go. Just add the artist now. Okay. Yeah, I've got, uh, oh, any number of. Uh, wire tools. I mean, you ne you just, I can never have enough, is what I'm trying to say. I like my old ones. This is uh, one I got from Sculpture Depot. Uh, no, I didn't. I don't know if I did get this at Sculpture Depot. It may have been someplace else, but anyway, you can get all these tools from Sculpture Depot. Uh, Sculpture Depot Karen, the owner, uh, she's the one that designed these tools. These are glyptic tools. And uh, you, they have a little Allen screw here. And you can loosen that and take out that head and replace it with another shape uh, wire head without buying another tool uh, to do that. You save a ton of money. And you never have to worry about the uh, wire uh, breaking loose because if it does, you just tighten up the uh, Allen wrench or the Allen screw. But I've got a whole collection of these uh, elliptics. I like the small ones. And I'll tell you why I like the small ones. Uh, if you're sculpting underneath a horse, say, or, or something else, and you got a base right there. You don't want a tool that's so long that you, you're, you can't get under the sculpture. You want to be able to get under the sculpture. And that's why these little short uh, tools, handle tools, are good. This is a, a tool that you can't get anymore. It's a silicone tip tool. I love this tool. I was talking to Car uh, oh, what's her name? can't say her name right now. Anyway, uh, the woman that designed those tools, and uh, she says she's still working on it, trying to get the things uh, re-tooled, uh, so to speak. Anyway, that's uh, that. I got, my, I got my clay for the sitting bowl, sitting here getting warm. That's a picture of my daughter I took uh, some time back, uh, dressed up as a pioneer girl. Got my candles for uh, heating tools. Got my uh, clayette 
clay that I'm going to be using. And I got all my clay up stacked up on the side over here. So I'm going to come in tomorrow. I got to get my overhead lights uh, set up. I'm just uh, looking at this uh, under my fluorescent lights. I can't wait to get this done. And then I'm going to get started on a new piece. You can see right there I got a true form armature ready to go. That's the uh, 24 inch armature and uh, a, a, a wax that I was starting of uh, somebody climbing up a mountainside. I made that uh, particular armature myself and I thought I'd do it in wax to start with just to give it strength but uh, anyway. So that's going to be it for today. I know these uh, little short videos aggravating because they don't really show anything but uh, we'll alleviate that real soon getting moved back in here was very important and uh, I got a couple more things I need to bring over from the house but uh, I'm just about done moving in good night everybody